Hello, and welcome to the 53rd Annual Defense Logistics Agency Employee Recognition Event. My name is Kathy Rem from DLA Human Resources, and I'm here in the headquarters auditorium. I'll be joined throughout this event by the DLA Director, Navy Vice Admiral Michelle C. Skubik, and several other of DLA's senior leaders. We're gathered virtually to recognize DLA team members who exemplify a standard of excellence. Even though the COVID-19 pandemic restricts our ability to gather in person, we didn't want to delay any longer in recognizing these employees and their impressive accomplishments. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce Vice Admiral Skubik. Ma'am? Thank you, Kathy. I'm excited to be here. While we can't be together, publicly honoring our employees is still just as important. The COVID pandemic has forced us to think differently about so many things, which has led to creative solutions like this virtual format. There's never been a DLA Employee Award Ceremony quite like this, so enjoy. To all of our senior leaders, to the DLA team, and to the employees we're honoring today, thank you for watching. I wanna thank Mr. Brad Bunn and the J1 team for organizing this event. So a virtual round of applause, please, for the participants and organizers of this ceremony. In 1967, the Defense Supply Agency held its very first employee award ceremony. Our third director, Air Force Lieutenant General Earl C. Headland, said in his remarks that he wanted to recognize employees who were, quote, willing to do more than their job descriptions called for and who were doing their jobs in a superlative fashion, unquote. We've continued this tradition each year to show our appreciation for those superlative employees and to draw inspiration from their example. The year 2020 was like no other. During America's time of need, DLA came through in spectacular fashion. Our employees gave us plenty of inspiration upon which to draw. In fact, since my arrival in July, I've been in frequent communication with senior leaders at the highest levels of the military and federal government around the world. Those leaders truly appreciate what DLA brings to the table in support of our nation. They know that DLA provides effective and efficient solutions to the logistics challenges they face. That's a powerful testament to you, to us, the DLA team. Your dedication, work ethic, knowledge, and talent make our mutual success possible. There were scores of nominations this year, which was great to see. I'd like to thank all the supervisors for taking the time to recognize your employees for their great work. Please keep it up. We have incredible people at DLA, and I'm looking forward to recognizing some of our finest. There are many shining examples of excellence from multiple organizations around the agency and around the globe. With that, I'll turn it over to J1. Again, thank you for joining us. Kathy, let's present some awards. Thank you, ma'am. The civilian employees and military members we're recognizing here have demonstrated leadership, hard work, and a sense of commitment in support of DLA's mission and our nation's warfighters. As dedicated professionals, they continuously strive to improve their performance with a focus on and strong commitment to the DLA mission. We're proud of their accomplishments, and today we take time to publicly thank them and to express our appreciation for their outstanding achievements. The first category of awards is the 10 Outstanding DLA Personnel of the Year Awards. These awards recognize deserving civilian and military personnel who have consistently exceeded the expectations of their positions. Individuals nominated for this award have been acknowledged by their peers as model performers. I'm pleased to introduce DLA's Vice Director, Mr. Michael Scott, who will announce the 10 outstanding DLA personnel from 2020 and tell us a little about each of their accomplishments. Thank you, Kathy. Hello, I feel privileged to be here to announce these great honors for these deserving DLA team members. While it's disappointing we can't all be here in person, uh, it's good to know everybody is staying safe with COVID-19 and I look forward to all of us being back in the workplace very soon. The first recipient is Air Force Technical Sergeant Griselda Hewitt, the Joint Operational Contract Support NCO in DLA Logistics Operations. Her extensive knowledge of operational contract support was highlighted during her direct involvement with U.S. Northern Command and U.S. Army North in support of the global COVID-19 response 
as well as her participation in the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command and U.S. Forces Japan Exercise Keen Edge 20. Paolo Papalardo of DLA Distribution Sigonella, Italy, is a remarkable and multifaceted employee whose exceptional work ethic contributed to many successes. His tireless efforts directly contributed to DLA Distribution Sigonella maintaining green metrics in all operational categories, even during surge and protracted non-duty periods. Air Force Technical Sergeant Zachary Began distinguished himself as a DLA Energy Quality Assurance Representative. He expertly focused the Defense Fuel Support Point Burlington, New Jersey team on distribution and quality management of a $17.2 million fuel depot contract. He also managed quality surveillance of 39.5 million gallons of fuel and provided supply chain support to customers' operations across five combatant commands. Lloyd Cromwell of DLA Aviation. As a material handler for the DLA Aviation Warner Robins Commodities Group, he provided support to the 572nd Commodities Maintenance Squadron. Under his guidance, the F-15 Canopy Shop SSC fulfilled 1,146 orders with an average delivery time of roughly half the 90-minute goal. He processed over 200 maintenance turn-ins back to supply and 2,280 SSC stock-level replenishments. Jennifer Bertone, Lead Inventory Management Specialist for DLA at Energy Americas West, served as a positive role model and inspired her colleagues to become more actively involved in efforts to improve work product quality. Her unrelenting efforts, resourcefulness, and initiative have resulted in significant contributions to supplying the warfighter with bulk fuel and lubricants. Rhonda Mensch of the DLA Office of Inspector General eliminated backlogs in several areas, including law enforcement agency validations, inquiries supporting the National Background Investigation Bureau, and reports of disciplinary and corrective action taken as a result of investigations that had persisted for years before she took them on. Her efforts saved thousands of dollars and hundreds of man hours. Cassandra Glaus of DLA Distribution provided invaluable assistance in the 2019 annual update of three crucial plans, continuity of operations, pandemic influenza response, and devolution. Her work with continuity planners and deputies at all of the 17 distribution centers in the continental United States resulted in 100% compliance in updating plans and executing annual relocation exercises. Ryan Collier, DLA Land and Maritime, served in the Agency Synchronization Operations Center as a liaison between the DLA headquarters and the major subordinate commands, monitoring the enterprise dashboard for trends and abnormalities. As an acquisition specialist supervisor, he developed and integrated a sustainable and repeatable process that resulted in exceeding time to award goals by 28% within the engine's integrated supply team. Sharon Kroll of DLA Acquisition is a catalyst for acquisition compliance improvements across DLA and beyond. When the nation faced unprecedented supply chain challenges resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic, she volunteered to support the national response as a member of the Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment and was a working member of the DOD Joint Acquisition Task Force where she received praise and accolades from senior DOD leadership. Navy Lieutenant Commander Hugh Wilson distinguished himself through his dynamic leadership of the Agency Synchronization Operations Center. As Mission Branch Chief, he provided timely status reports detailing DLA logistics support to the Joint Staff, Combatant Commands, and Federal Partners on multiple operations. His sustained efforts were instrumental in the establishment of the ASOC as the heartbeat of DLA. It is a real honor for me to congratulate these 10 individuals who are truly 
DLA Outstanding Personnel. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Those were truly outstanding achievements by those 10 individuals. Next, I get to introduce my own boss, Mr. Brad Bunn, Director of DLA Human Resources, who will announce the DLA Leader of the Year Awards in four categories. Sir, over to you. Thank you, Kathy. It's an honor for me to recognize DLA leaders from every segment of the workforce whose outstanding accomplishments and commitment to leadership merit special recognition. Leader of the Year Awards recognize outstanding performance in the DLA leadership competencies. The Level 1 Non-Supervisory Employees Leader of the Year Award recipient is Richard Alexander, Jr. Richard volunteered to be one of the first DLA Aviation Liaison Officers to the DLA Headquarters Agency Synchronization and Operations Center. He took the lead to improve communication with service national account managers and develop procedures to keep senior leaders up to date on situations of urgency. He developed an environmental scan for DLA Aviation, which was a daily briefing and information collection tool and ultimately influenced decisions made by DLA senior leaders. Congratulations, Richard. The Level 2 Team Leaders and Project Leaders Leader of the Year Award recipient is Jose Gonzalez of the DLA Installation Management Security and Emergency Services Team. During DLA's initial COVID-19 response in March 2020, Jose shifted his priorities as program manager for DLA's Common Access Card program to coordinate new procedures for DLA CAC, PASS, and ID offices. These actions directly contributed to DLA's successful security response to the pandemic, ensuring customer-facing security professionals had the necessary precautions to safeguard their health and protect the security of DLA's workforce. Congratulations, Jose. The Level 3 New Civilian Supervisors Leader of the Year recipient is Jabari Giles of DLA Distribution. Jabari's superbly refined programs to significantly reduce customer business hour delivery times and achieve solid green metrics for more than 800,000 annual issues. He orchestrated the on-time delivery of more than 575,000 high-priority material release orders and exceeded the on-time delivery goal of 24 hours by 10% and reduced bills of lading by 60%. All who meet him know that the mission and the care of others is a passion Jabari embodies. Congratulations, Jabari. The Level 4 Experienced Leaders, Managers, and Supervisors Leader of the Year recipient is Esther Wade of DLA Logistics Operations. For managing the strategic processes, process management, and metrics integration teams while they implemented transformational initiatives and business process efficiencies during a time of significantly constrained resources. Esther faced major challenges in balancing workload priorities while motivating her staff to successfully implement new high visibility initiatives. These initiatives included realigning DLA assets across 26 DLA distribution centers and 103 disposition services sites worldwide. Congratulations, Esther. And that wraps up the Leader of the Year Awards. Congratulations again to all the award recipients being honored today in the many different categories. And I look forward to congratulating you in person in the not too distant future. Thank you, Mr. Bunn. Our next award category is the annual DLA Employee of the Quarter Recognitions. Mr. Art Hagler, Director of DLA Finance and the agency's Chief Financial Officer is joining us to announce these awards. Thank you, Kathy. And hopefully everyone, we will be back together in person next year for these awards. This award category provides agency-wide recognition to three individual employees, civilian employees, from the quarterly DLA competition whose exemplary performance humanitarian service or teamwork merited further recognition at the agency level. The awards are presented in three categories. The DLA Employee of the Quarter Annual Recipient for Category A 
Civilian grades one through six is Jed Ballesteros, a distribution process worker in the bulk division at DLA Distribution, San Joaquin, California. Jed was instrumental in re-warehousing thousands of feet of bulk stock into other bulk locations to prepare for an oncoming battery mission by identifying and reporting discrepancies and making on-the-spot corrections. Employees like Mr. Ballesteros are key to DLA Distribution San Joaquin, meeting all key performance metrics for the past three years. Congratulations, Jed. The DLA Employee of the Quarter, annual recipient for Category B, civilian grades 7 through 12, is Timothy Nelson of DLA Aviation. When the inventory workload in the stock readiness mission dramatically increased by over 1,000 percent, Timothy led his team at DLA Ogden in completing 19,000 inventories on 17,000 national stock numbers totaling 66 million in priority assets. Due to his exemplary efforts, the unexpected challenge was met and resolved an amazing 15 days ahead of schedule with an accuracy rate of 96%. Congratulations, Timothy. The DLA Employee of the Quarter annual recipient for Category C, civilian grades 13 through 15, is Peter Boone, who served as Deputy Commander and then commander of DLA Support Team Djibouti in the second half of 2019. During this time, he received personal accolades from the U.S. AFRICOM Deputy Commander and the CJTF Horn of Africa Commander for working through the night to get two million of critical Class IV items ordered for U.S. Special Operations Forces in Somalia before the end of FY19. He also led the charge in sourcing emergency force protection materials from Germany after a terrorist attack in Somalia. Congratulations, Peter. I'd like to thank Vice Admiral Skubik for the opportunity to be a part of this event to recognize these outstanding DLA team members. Their efforts are a tribute to our whole agency. Back to you, Kathy. Next up are the Team Performance Awards, and we'll go back to our Vice Director, Mr. Scott, to announce these awards which recognize teams within DLA that have improved organizational performance by using structured improvement methods or have advanced the principles of teamwork. Nominations were divided by small, medium, and large teams with one award recipient from each category. Thanks again, Kathy. I'm happy to be back to recognize some more deserving DLA team members. category of small team consisting of 25 members or less, the award goes to the DLA Troop Support Construction and Equipment COVID-19 Strike Team. In response to the unprecedented worldwide pandemic, this team engaged with frontline responders, identified needs, developed innovative solution sets, and coordinated across DLA, multiple vendors, services, and whole government partners. Their work resulted in three massive end-to-end -end support efforts the Patel Critical Care Decontamination System, the Operation Nursing Home Personal Protective Equipment Program, and support to the nation's strategic national stockpile. These efforts combined for a value of over $1.2 billion and helped save countless lives worldwide. In the category of medium team, consisting of 26 to 50 members, the winner is the Packing, Packaging, Preservation, and Marking Team from DLA Distribution, Corpus Christi, Texas. This team aggressively responded to customer requirements and concerns for the level of protective material available during storage and shipping by expanding the inventory of service packaging materials and fast pack containers. They initiated a container remediation program to ensure method of pack conformance was met prior to shipping materials and vastly exceeded the incoming supply discrepancy goal of 0.25%. In the category of large team, consisting of 51 to 125 members, the award goes to the Agency Synchronization Operations Center COVID-19 Response Team. This team, comprised of action officers from across the agency, led DLA's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Their efforts leveraged the full capability of all of our supply chains and employees, ensuring uninterrupted support to DOD and federal government partners in life-saving efforts to deal with the devastating effects of the worldwide coronavirus pandemic. 
It's hard to put into words how much DLA has accomplished to support our government and our nation during this pandemic. And this ASOC response team has served as the nerve center of that support. I'm thrilled and proud to recognize those efforts with this award. Thank you again, Mr. Scott. It really is amazing to hear about these team's accomplishments. We'll now turn to the announcement of our Military Service Members of the Year. Air Force Major General Alan Day, DLA's Director of Logistics Operations, will announce the officer categories. Thank you, Kathy. I know DLA is largely a civilian agency, but supporting the military is at the heart of what we do, and we couldn't do that without our own assigned military members. I'm grateful I could be part of this virtual event to highlight this year's top military performers in DLA. I'll be announcing the service members of the year in the officer categories, then handing it over to Command Sergeant Major O'Neill to announce the enlisted winners. The field grade officer of the year is Marine Corps Lieutenant Colonel Greg Deusterhaus of DLA Logistics Operations. As battle captain in the Agency Synchronization Operations Center, Lieutenant Colonel Deusterhaus helped establish initial operating procedures for the ASOC and trained its first cadre of LNOs and battle captains. He also was responsible for leading the COVID-19 working group, which included action officers from across the agency. As chief of the current operations branch, he leads a large team in directing and monitoring current events and DLA's global combat logistics support operations. He installed programs to stabilize and set procedures, train staff, and reorganize the branch to meet new regional and functional challenges. Congratulations, Lieutenant Colonel Deusterhaus. The Company Grade Officer of the Year is Air Force Captain Lisa McCarthy of DLA Aviation. In her role as Career Broadening Officer, Captain McCarthy has developed a more holistic training and professional development plan, ensuring better communication. She also worked on senior level projects in supplier operations. Prior to that, she worked in planning and was integrated with the Bell Boeing team. Captain McCarthy is dedicated to providing the best possible support to DLA Aviation's daily mission. Congratulations, Captain McCarthy. The DLA Joint Reserve Force Field Grade Officer of the Year is Army Reserve Lieutenant Colonel Dominic Versace of DLA Distribution. As a DLA Distribution Chief of Transportation, Lieutenant Colonel Versace helped implement transportation policies and was responsible for processing 400,000 items worth over $2.5 billion with the Vendor Shipment Module Team. He also provided oversight to the F-35 Parts Transportation Program, shipping parts for the Air Force's new major weapon system to the U.S. and coalition forces. As of August 2020, he has provided senior leadership to five expeditionary distribution support units. Congratulations, Lieutenant Colonel Versace. The DLA Joint Reserve Force Company Grade Officer of the Year is Navy Reserve Lieutenant David Skinner of DLA Land and Maritime. Lieutenant Skinner's commitment to mission and the development of sailors is clearly evidenced. While assigned as liaison officer representing DLA at Exercise Pacific Century Keen Edge 2020, he showed he's always willing to step up to a challenge. In addition to his billet assigned as watch officer Pacific Fleet Sustainment Cell, he served as the Joint Logistics Operations Center J-4 Night Action Officer and delivered extraordinary results in both duty assignments. Congratulations, Lieutenant Skinner. It's a great honor for me to recognize these outstanding active duty and reserve officers. Congratulations to all the winners. Now I'm going to hand this off to DLA's Senior Enlisted Advisor, Command Sergeant Major Tamika O'Neill, who will announce our Enlisted Service Members of the Year. Take it away, Sergeant Major. Thank you, General Day. I'm excited to announce these awards because in my short time in DLA, I've been inspired and amazed by the skill and dedication of our assigned military members. The Senior Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year is Army Sergeant First Class Ryan Keith Penaflor of DLA Troop Support. 
Sergeant First Class Penaflor displayed natural leadership and extraordinary communication skills representing DLA Troop Support Europe and Africa in meeting operational rations requirements for warfighters in U.S. CENTCOM, AFRICOM, and UCOM. His actions ensured the CENTCOM theater was well stocked with operational rations during the COVID-19 pandemic. His engagement with U.S. Army Central Command and First Theater Sustainment Command was essential to properly identify requirements and meeting timelines. Congratulations to Sergeant Penaflor. The Junior Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year is Navy Logistics Specialist First Class Robert Horton of DLA Distribution. Petty Officer Horton's many accomplishments over the past year include processing 1,000 high-priority material release orders, 200 walkthroughs, and 51 counter-to-counter -counter shipments valued at $10.4 million. He also led over 100 personnel through emergency evacuation procedures in a regional non-combatant evacuation drill and led 36 sailors in achieving 100% passing rate for the physical fitness assessment cycle. In addition, he helped foster an inclusive and open climate by assisting with the Black History, Pride, and Hispanic Heritage Month programs within NAFSUP. Congratulations to Petty Officer Horton. The DLA Joint Reserve for Senior Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year is Air Force Reserve Master Sergeant Elijah Lowridge of DLA Aviation. Master Sergeant Lowridge embodies the whole person concept, whether it is steering one of aviation special projects or simultaneously pursuing his master's degree in business administration, while also completing his Life Cycle Logistics Level 2 certification. He works closely with weapon system program managers and material planners, also leading the customer ops team in projects that will support critical assets for personnel and aircraft. Congratulations to Master Sergeant Lowridge. The DLA Joint Reserve Force Junior Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year is Navy Reserve Culinary Specialist First Class Selena Miller of DLA Distribution. During the past year, Petty Officer Miller volunteered to fill a leadership role within the Rapid Deployment Readiness Team and stepped up to the challenge of serving as NCOIC of the FEMA Mission Support Team. She demonstrates incredible leadership qualities, responding to situations sensibly and maturely, while maintaining a sincere interest in the personnel and professional development of her peers and subordinates. Congratulations to Petty Officer Miller. General Day and Vice Admiral Skubik, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to speak here today to recognize these outstanding non-commissioned officers. NCOs lead the way. Thank you, Sergeant Major. As an Army veteran myself, that's always my favorite part of our annual awards. We're now going to hand things over to the DLA Headquarters Chief of Staff, Ms. Kristen French, who will be announcing two separate groups of awards, starting with the Equal Employment Opportunity Awards. The annual EEO Awards recognize and reward outstanding DLA civilians, leaders, and organizations that have worked to ensure equality, diversity, and inclusion so every member of the DLA team can achieve their full potential and unify the workforce in achieving our missions. Ms. French? The DLA Outstanding Employee with a Disability is John Sloan of DLA Finance. John has consistently demonstrated there is no job he can't perform and no task that is too difficult for him to master. Outside of day-to-day -day work, he has taught at Gallaudet University and has served for six years on the Virginia Relay Advisory Council, which improves the communication capabilities of deaf and hard of hearing citizens in Virginia. The award for achievement in EEO by an employee goes to Kristen Roberts of DLA Distribution. Kristen served as Command Secretary and Civilian Welfare Fund President, providing superb customer service and support to DLA Distribution San Joaquin, California, and the local community. She made great strides in creating an inclusive environment for more than 1,500 employees across the installation and was passionate about increasing the morale and welfare for the diverse workforce.
The award for achievement in EEO by a supervisor or manager goes to Donald Schultze of DLA Land and Maritime. Donald is a leader who embraces the principles of equal employment opportunity and diversity, not only within his team, but throughout his organization. His tireless efforts as a senior mentor for current and future women senior leaders and his champion duties with the Disability Employment Special Emphasis Program make him a role model in treating everyone with dignity, mutual trust, and respect. The DLA Award for Achievement in EEO by an organization in the MSC category is awarded to DLA Aviation Jacksonville, Florida. This organization's campaign to advance change and reshape the organizational climate established a spirit of unity with a true one team, one fight focus. Their commitment and focus on equality have resulted in no EEO cases or union grievances for two consecutive years and 79% of promotions being filled by targeted women and minority groups. The DLA Award for Achievement in EEO by an organization in the D-Staff or J-Code category is awarded to the DLA Office of Inspector General. OIG audit managers have supported DLA by effectively implementing their EEO training as well as the DLA Director and Inspector General's EEO policy statements. They worked to keep the workplace free of discrimination during a period of which over one-third of the division's positions turned over by ensuring the new hires included underrepresented women and African Americans in high-grade populations. Thank you, Ms. French. It's wonderful to hear about our DLA co-workers' efforts to make our workplaces models of inclusion and dignity. Next up, we'll be going back to Ms. French to introduce several awards that fall under the umbrella of keeping us safe in our workplaces, starting with our Police Activity and Fire Department of the Year. Our DLA police, fire, and emergency services personnel are on duty 24 hours a day, putting their lives on the line to protect our installations, facilities, and personnel. These awards recognize the best of the best for last year. Ms. French will follow that up by announcing the Safety and Security Professionals of the Year. Back to you, ma'am. Thank you, Kathy. The Outstanding Police Activity of the Year belongs to DLA Installation Management, San Joaquin, California. Officers in this department conducted 281 random anti-terrorism measures while closely adhering to meticulous inspection procedures and strict attention to detail preventing any major security incidents. The evidence custodian closed 155 cases and destroyed 224 pieces of contraband from drugs, illegal knives, and other assorted weapons. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, the department has continued to achieve 100% training compliance. The DLA Fire Department of the Year is a Fire and Emergency Services Department from DLA Installation Management in Columbus, Ohio. Among this department's accomplishments last year were battling a fire involving a mission-critical piece of equipment within a large maintenance facility, and upon being the first responding unit to a fire off the installation, where they were able to rescue several family pets. They also collaborated with local hospitals for free EMT training needed to maintain current certifications, with a cost savings of over $15,000. The DLA Safety Professional of the Year Award encourages occupational safety and health professionals and individual employees to improve the agency's overall occupational safety and health. The DLA Safety Professional of the Year is Cecil McQuain of DLA Land and Maritime. Cecil is the face of the Safety and Occupational Health Office as he develops and delivers safety briefs and training during director's calls and new employee orientations. Cecil's commitment to advocate safety through education continues beyond his duties at Defense Logistics Agency. On his off-duty time, Mr. McQuain is a motorcycle safety instructor in the state of Ohio. The last two awards I'll be announcing are the Junior and Senior Security Professionals of the Year. The Junior Security Professional of the Year is Tyrell Rice of DLA Distribution. His vigilance 
precipitated numerous process changes that significantly improved efficiency, resource management, flow of communication between local organizations, and the overall security posture of DLA distribution in Anniston, Alabama. He is responsible for his organization receiving an outstanding on the most recent 18-month arms, ammunitions, and explosives audit with no significant findings. The Senior Security Professional of the Year is Donald Bartlett of DLA Installation Management, Richmond, Virginia. Donald exponentially improved the Installation's Active Shooter Awareness Training Program, which reaches over 3,000 employees annually and focuses on realism and employee engagement. The training captures audience interest and has been lauded as some of the best and most realistic training ever attended. His efforts helped ensure readiness through reducing risk, improving efficiency, and optimizing support to the warfighter. I'd like to thank Vice Admiral Skubik for the opportunity to celebrate our EEO award recipients and our police, fire, and security and safety professionals. They are all very deserving of these recognitions. Thank you, Ms. French. Next, we'll be lauding DLA's acquisition experts. I'll hand this over to Mr. Matthew Beebe, Director of DLA Acquisition, to announce the award for Excellence in Acquisition and two Acquisition Support Team Awards. Thank you, Kathy. The recipients of the next three awards are acquisition professionals who have demonstrated the highest degree of proficiency, integrity, and dedication in executing the critical mission of providing acquisition support to our nation's warfighters and in the nation's support to the response to the pandemic. The award for excellence in acquisition goes to Karen Gandhi of DLA Distribution. Karen exemplifies dedication, commitment, and professionalism along with innovation. She used a new prototype transaction authority to manage awards related to additive manufacturing, advanced manufacturing on demand, and personal protective equipment. These awards were a unique means of obtaining supplies that directly strengthen readiness. She was also the contracting officer responsible for DLA Distribution's Logistics Modernization Integration Support Program, which facilitated DLA Distribution's modernization initiatives. Congratulations, Karen. The Acquisition Support Professional of the Year Team Award is presented to the Installation Energy Management Team. This team helped procure a supply of natural gas to over 200 installations with an overall cost savings of $40 million. Other significant accomplishments included resolving $1.5 million in duplicate utility charges, directly supporting customer negotiations on utility transport agreements, and ensuring continued energy supply to two VA medical centers in Arkansas. This team's demonstrated excellence is a reflection of their strong commitment to the growth and success of the agency. Another very significant recognition is the Acquisition Workforce Team Achievement Award presented to the DLA COVID Acquisition Response Team. DLA acquisition professionals from across the enterprise have demonstrated exceptional dedication, expertise, and teamwork to support the agency's unprecedented response to the pandemic. DLA has awarded more than 24,000 contracts, now totaling over $2.5 billion, for critical, life-saving medical supplies. Once again, our acquisition professionals demonstrated that DLA is not only DOD's combat support provider, but also provides critical support to the nation during times of crisis. These acquisition professionals and countless others across our great agency go above and beyond every day in support of our country. I'm honored to have a part in recognizing them. We have one final award and one final guest presenter, Dr. George Ducek, DLA's Chief Information Officer will now announce the Information Technology Team of the Year. Thank you, Kathy. I am so fortunate to lead such a talented group of professionals in J6 Information Operations. I can always count on them to get the job done. The winners of the Information Technology Team of the Year Award are no exception. 
the IT audit team is deserving of this great honor. They have been recognized for their exceptional results at the highest levels in DOD. These folks continue to improve the J6 audit process and ensure we are always accountable to our stakeholders. The team demonstrated excellent stewardship during the fiscal 2019 and 2020 financial statement audits. Their professionalism and dedication to duty was critical to the success of the system and organizational controls report engagements as well. They conducted comprehensive internal control testing for the annual statement of assurance, which demonstrated reliance upon IT controls for the DLA environment. The IT audit team is a great example of transparency and cost consciousness that earns the trust and confidence of those we serve. Congratulations, team. I'm very proud of your accomplishments. We made it. I know I speak for the rest of my DLA colleagues in saying it's both inspiring and encouraging to see our leaders and peers recognized at the agency level. This wasn't quite the same as inviting our awardees to the headquarters and up on the stage to get their awards, but we hope they watched with their families and felt our appreciation for their efforts. On behalf of the J1 Awards team, I'd like to thank Vice Admiral Skubik and all of our senior leaders for being here to help honor these employees and for letting me be a part of this. Now, I'll let our director wrap this up with some closing remarks. Thank you, Kathy. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been my honor to participate in today's ceremony. I hope you are as inspired as I am to continue to serve our warfighters always and our nation. To our honorees, you are leaders and the best of the best. Your collective accomplishments epitomize excellence and the true spirit of DLA. You have demonstrated exceptional performance above and beyond the normal call of duty. And as Lieutenant General Hedlund said 54 years ago, you are doing your job in a superlative fashion. To the entire DLA team, thank you for the tremendous work you do each and every day. I want you to know that I appreciate the positive impact you make on the department and on our agency. The success of any organization comes down to its people. And at DLA, we have the very best. I'm grateful to all of you, and I look forward to serving with you in the coming months. Thank you, and until next time, Warfighter always.